Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to send data between components without having any inheritance relation between them. Because as you know, in React, if you want to pass data to your components, you have to use inheritance and you should have nested components in each other to send data to each other and also you can use a, cont a state container libraries like redux to have a shared uh, state between all your components without having inheritance but sometimes you don't want to use redux for just sending data between your siblings and you want to use events so in this tutorial i'm gonna just uh, concentrate on events and to show you how to send data using events between your components, especially the sibling components. I'm Masood, I'm making content about React, JavaScript, and frontend development. And if you're interested in those topics, please uh, subscribe to my channel in order to don't miss anything in future. So let's start. Okay, as you can see, I just installed the uh, React.js uh, library on my computer, which is named my app project. And it is completely clean without having any modification on it. So, and uh, let me just show you the library that I am going to use. It's called Facebook Emitter. You can search it on npm project fp emitter it's a well-known library it is very powerful i'm using it a lot in my uh, daily projects so let's start using this facebook emitter library the first thing that you need to do is to install the library using npm so i'm going to do npm install dash dash save uh, fb emitter okay it's being installed uh, let me just explain uh, to you what uh, what we are actually going to build in this tutorial. Uh, let me show you. It is my application right now. I just want to have two components in this page. One which is uh, have uh, just a link and also a text box here underneath it. And whenever we click on this link, we are going to show something in this text box. So... Uh, I need to remove and get rid of these elements here. Let me just include both windows in the view so you can see both. And here, let me create my first component, new file. Let me name it link component.js import react from react and also which uh, actually we are using the react 17 version let me just check it yes so we cannot we can actually ignore this line and directly write our component name here export default link component we are going to have uh, no any props and just return for now a link or maybe it can be a div and inside it click on me oh i forgot to write a function keyword here what i'm doing sorry export default function okay it, because i'm not installed the es lint it uh, it warns me but it's not a problem just let me save it link component yeah and also i'm gonna import it here link component and close so i should be able to see it let me find the issue I think it's with lowercase. Okay, click on me is added here, and uh, let me just create the second component. New file. Mm. Label. Oh, 
label label component js and export default label component and just render sorry return I always forget this step because I'm using uh, arrow functions a lot so I forget to write the name of the keyboard of function and here I'm just gonna write my uh, logic here but since there is nothing here let me have a state for this component const for example we can have something like logs logs and set logs and just having a use state and it can be an empty array just let me import the use state from react import use state i think we need to import it in this way use state from react okay and just i need to run a loop on the logs using the map function log and then have a another div and just print the value which is located inside log dot we can do something like like that text oh yes what else do we need for now nothing just let me import this component as well label component we could also name it log component but we didn't okay uh, the first thing that I want to do inside the link component is to click, uh, is to actually define an unclick listener. So unclick is going to be an arrow function. Let me create a function here. Um, uh, create new log, and it's gonna be an arrow function. And within it, let me just uh, test it first. Add a console.log test. Yes. Let me just see my console. Yeah, it works fine. So now I need to create a, or trigger my event. For my event uh, handler, I'm gonna create a new folder, which is I'm doing it all the time. I'm create a folder named utils, and then I put my event emitter component in it. And I usually copy and paste this folder to all my projects, event emitter.js, and I'm gonna import the event emitter emitter from facebook library fb emitter and then i just want to create a new instance and export it so export default new event emitter and the constructor so it will create the event emitter only one time in my application and now i can easily import it here import event emitter from utils folder event emitter component and then when i click on the this link i want to uh, actually uh, trigger a new event so i can use event emitter dot emit function and it accepts two parameters the first one is the event type 
it's actually an identifier for our event and others will be listened to this identifier and whenever we have a new event and the identifier is the same so that event will be called inside other components so i'm gonna name it new log and then here we can have a payload or data for our event so here for example i want to have a text something like hi from method and we can have additional data something like created at new date okay so let me just yeah as you can see nothing is happened because uh, when i click on it it creates my event but nobody is listening to this event so let's listen to this event in this component how can we listen to the events the best way inside uh, javascript actually react.js components which are written in a hook way is to place our listeners inside the use effect hook to do this first we need to import use effect from react and then have it here use effect and within it i'm gonna have another function and inside it i'm gonna have a function to be triggered whenever my event is fired so let's name it on what was my event name it was new luck on new luck and the data should be be here event data and then inside it i just want to add it to the logs so i can easily do set logs first get the previous value of logs prev value and then return a new object which contains the previous value first and then the new event data event data yes and now it is time to actually connect our listener to the event emitter how can we do this easily using cons listener and then event emitter dot add listener and inside it log event what was it i usually forget and we need to here to specify the name of function that we have written to handle that event. Let me close this. Yeah. This is the function that we wrote it before. And one more thing. You need to uh, remove your listener whenever your component is killed. So inside the reader, we can... Uh, have our logic whenever my component is being unmounted so listener dot remove it will clear everything for this event inside my component yeah i think that should be fine let me just check oh logs dot map is not a function Mm, yes we actually need to return an array inside of object as we had a map here and array let me try it again okay each child in a list should have a unique prop you can see my event here but let me just fix this warning as you probably know in react if you have lists 
you need to specify the key prop and it should be something unique so we can have something like id or i don't know for now what should we do we can use uh, our created at value for this one so like that created yeah it works fine whenever i click on it it will create a new uh, how can i say a value inside my logs and now you can have several different components that are listening to a single event which is new log and they can do they can actually have their logic to apply whenever this event is triggered okay guys Thank you for watching this video. I suggest you watching these videos as well. Have a nice day.